Hi students, this is Alex here. In this video, we are going to find the area enclosed by the curves y is equal to x square and x plus y minus 2 equal to 0 using the double integration. Now let's draw the graph for the given curve and a line. So we take x axis and y axis. y is equal to x square is a parabola which open upward with the vertex at the origin. So we have a curve like this. Now there is another line given. The equation is x plus y minus 2 equal to 0. So we take x and y and when x is 0 the value of y is 2 and when y is 0 the value of x is 2. So after getting these two points we can plot this line where one point is 0, 2. So 0, 2 it will be somewhere here and 2, 0 will be somewhere here. So let's write the point this is 0, 2 and another is 2, 0. If we join this we get a straight line and we will extend on both the sides. And we extend this parabola to get the closed region. So we are going to find the area of the region this. So for this we are going to take area equal to double integral dx dy. Now if I consider horizontal strip so here it touches the parabola and the straight line. So if we take a horizontal strip little above it touches the parabola and the straight line but again if I take a another strip here it touches the parabola itself. So to avoid this confusion let's take the vertical strip. So I have to interchange these two. First I have to write dx then dy sorry dy then dx. So I am going to consider the vertical strip. So wherever I take the vertical strip the bottom most touches the parabola always and the top most touches the line always. So here let us write the value of y from the parabola. From the parabola the value of y is x square and the line the value of y is I have to take these two terms to the other side 2 minus x. So y equal to 2 minus x. So the limit for dy is ranging from x square till 2 minus x. Now I have to consider the horizontal strip and I have to see the extreme values the leftmost extreme and the rightmost extreme. So the extremes are the meeting point of both line and the curve. So let us solve. Here the parabola equation is y is equal to x square and the value of y from the straight line is y is equal to 2 minus x. Let us equate these two. So this will become x square equal to 2 minus x. Let us bring everything to one side x square plus x minus 2 equal to 0. On factorizing we get x plus 2 into x minus 1 equal to 0. It means the value of x is minus 2 and 1. So this point is minus 2 the value of x comma. If we put minus 2 for x I get 4. So this is minus 2 comma 4. If I substitute in any of the equation the value of y. Similarly here I got 1 as x value by putting 1 here in any equation I get another value of y is that is the value of y is also 1. So left extreme and right extreme is nothing but the value of x which is ranging from let us write it here the value of x is minus 2 and this extreme it touches here the value of x is 1. So the limit is from minus 2 till 1. Now let us continue the double integration. So area is integral minus 2 to 1. Integration of dy is y and I have to substitute the limit which is x square and till 2 minus x. Next we have dx. Now we are going to substitute the upper limit which is 2 minus x and lower limit minus of x square and this we have to integrate from minus 2 to 1 with respect to x. So the integration is 2x minus x square by 2 minus x cube by 3 and limit is from minus 2 to 
1. When I substitute the upper limit, we get 2 minus 1 by 2 minus 1 by 3 minus when I substitute the lower limit, this will become minus 4 and this will become minus 2 square minus 2 whole square is 2. Sorry, minus 2 whole square is 4. 4 by 2 is 2. Then minus 8 by 3. But already there is a minus. When I cube another minus, it will become plus now. Now, this part 2 minus 1 by 2 minus 1 by 3 as it is. And these two combined together is minus 6. And there is a minus sign outside, so it will become plus 6. And this will become minus 8 by 3. So combining these two, we get minus 9 by 3, which is minus 3. So 2 minus 1 by 2 minus 3 plus 6. Combining these two is 3, 3 plus 2 is 5. So 5 minus 1 by 2, after taking LCM, 10 minus 1, which is 9 by 2. Since it is area, we write square units.